Hello. Uh, we've got a quick review today. Picked up a couple of scenery kits uh, and I had the idea I was going to give them a, a quick review and build them live on air. So, what I'm going to do is get cracking and get it opened. These are Battle Kiwi products from their Sanctuary range. Uh, all for Star Wars Legion. Or to be used with Star Wars Legion. They coming from uh, New Zealand, which I thought would have took a couple of weeks. I think it was less than five or six days to come all the way. Uh, and we ordered one of each off the website, which I think came to about £160 delivered for one of everything. And the, the platform that we got is absolutely huge. Uh, we've actually picked the smaller one of the set today, just because I can fit it on my table. Uh, but we're going to go through the whole lot and um, basically work through the whole range and build them up over the next week or so. So the kit comes pre-primed in the grey and laser cut. So there's a couple of bits. like the base, uh, the first set of walls, and then loads of bits that need to be punched out. Now these look like the, the gun turrets, put them up there out the way, and we'll quickly punch all of this out. very careful. If you've got any questions pop them in the comments so we can see them. One of my friends from a local store bought a set of this um, a couple of weeks back and he's been using it and as soon as I saw it on the table I thought it was something that I could uh, have a go at, get a set and start using it myself. So we put the order in. There we go. They don't come with instructions, but Battle Kiwi have it all uh, up on their website a full set of instructions that you can either print out or you can just watch off the uh, step by step guide on the page that they've got for it. And everything's just pushing out really well. He says, and then can't get the last bit out. There we go. So, the walls. It's just all popping out. One bit that pushed awkwardly, but there we go. So, everything off the plate. And the base plate. Couple of bits. Right, one big 
pile. So, put everything in the little piles neatly. Five accessory bits up there. Walls. First part of the instructions, we need four of them, the base plate, and I think they all just go together and they just sit. Yeah. So they don't actually glue to the base plate yet, I think it's the outer bits that actually fit to the base plate. So I'm just using Army Paint and Glue. Um, put bits of masking tape as needed. Bits in place. Sink part. So just bring a bead of glue down each edge, it's going to be contacting. And just hold it together for so it all clips together. Right, that's the first part. So now we go to the feet. So there's these two parts. These, if I move this out the way slightly, I'm going to go into the recesses there, but up against these plates as well. where they need to be. So I'm going to put a bit of glue down here, not much, just a, a bit on each plate. And then some down the edge of each one of these. right down the centre again. So 
this goes into place. Get that bit simple. Let's go there quite well. Spot on. So we'll do the same again this side. Quickly remove the masking tape. A small bead for each leg. more plates that go in and they go in either side the opposite so they're just going to need again a little bit down the door plates or the door slides and then a bit down the bottom In. And that's what you get. So again, right down each side. Clean up the glue on the bottom. And that's the start of it. So that's the base plate done. Put that to one side to, to dry for a bit. Now the next part is the actual gun, which is parts, then the dowel, and I believe that bit and that bit. So, starting off, let's see how these fit together. So each one goes into there like that. I 
all three bits joined together, and then we'll go into that. There's a good tight fit. Cool. So, pop that back off. brush to make sure I get it in all the places that I need to. I do it both sides. There you go. Lined up onto the piece. all going to lock in, but also a bit down either side. So, just make sure that's all goes in. That's going to go into there perfectly. That's what you're going to end up with. Jump the gun a bit though get the other side done. So, same again. A bit with a brush so it sticks together. the side and just push it in. There you go. Push down. So we have the gun mechanics going together. Make sure they're pushed all the way down. I got clicks in. And then I'm going to do let's paint some glue into where the dough is going to squash into. the same length. Cool. Right, the same pretty straight. Easily might. Just 
give it to oh, the top for now. together solidly. It's brilliant that. So I got the top of the turret now. The next part. I'll just put that to one side to dry, like the others. We've got the turret top. Now I believe if you get the satellite dish, um, the satellite dish top swaps out with the laser turret top so you can uh, play around and have both versions or you can interchange them with this. I'm having with this is get all the glue on, get it all into place, and then the turret glues to the top. <coughs> and if you see, there's a bit of play with that. So, my intention is to take off the tip, just the wood glue is starting to go tacky. So pretty well held now. I 
and this needs to sit in there and that will tie all the sides together so if we bead of glue no, I'm going to use the, the brush seems to be an easier option So, once this goes onto the top, like so, bit of a wipe. And trusty masking tape again. There's a lot of people out there that hate the painting side of the, the hobby. The way this looks with the grey and the brown and the burn, it looks perfectly fine on the table if that's as far as you want to take it. Obviously there's people that will want to paint it up, but it's it's not necessary. actual um, the gun barrel part itself which should line everything up so as I've got in the instructions they line everything up on the table starting with that part so there's two guns two of them and two of them two large circles Three of the heat sink types and some sm I think it's the smaller circles. So two small ones and a very thin one. thin one out the lot. Them two are the thinner ones, them two are the bigger ones that go on the end, and two the same. So these just go down barrel like so so peel back some of that so I don't right so what I'm going to do again to make sure it all sticks down is I'm gonna run I think that would be more than enough because it's only holding them in place. So 
So first one on each of them. Making sure that they've lined up okay. with that part that faces out so. again quick splutter glue just to hold them in side if we just keep doing that at the base of there each time push the ring on Sink part. So. One, two. Three. Making sure that the bits line up. Right, and these end ones actually just sit on the end. So they don't get pushed all the way down. Small one first. And then the larger one afterwards. I'm getting them flush. the guns look at the end of it. What I'm going to do is paint a bit of the glue on to seal it. Because as you see it's already started slipping back over.
there we have it. That's that part of the Gundam. Accessories we have. I think I've covered it up with the tape. These ones. So we have some handles and we have some vents. More vents, more handles. So, I'll pull that to one side for now. And let that dry. And we'll bring the main one back, or the base back. Take the tape off. It's tacky enough to take the tape off. So. to go one set there one set next to it and then some smaller ones into the the bottom there so just dip it into the glue in that then we have four pegs all need to go into these are going to be messy especially if I drop them First done. We have this vent that goes to the centre of all of that, which what I'll do is same as before, just paint the back. And because it'll go all the way to the bottom of the floor. That side done. Now back to the gun platform or the gun the tower top. And we've got the similar sort of thing there. So a bit more glue out. Sideboard. Same again. There we go. 
that bit of detail in done. Right, there's one bit to go on the top of here that hides all of the prongs. I think that just sits on. So again, we'll go with the painting. Some blobs of glue. pegs or anything like that it's just to cover the mounting for the for the gun so what we have now is two more plates and these go inside that and what this does is stops it falling too far down when you put it on top of the the bottom section so again we'll just go for it a couple of swatches use up what's left there spread it out and this just fits into the contours of the the box itself Together. And that's on the side. I'll do the same on the other side. And in it goes. So what that means is when you put it on here, it fits perfectly. And it doesn't fall too far past different positions. And that, I'm take the, other than a bit of clean up of glue, um, I'd say that's about. people can spray it after and add your own colour and your own effects, battle damage, whatever you want. Um, you can even use some of our masks um, which we're actually going to do a couple on this one. Uh, I'll just quickly show you but we just peel the mask off leaving all the, the Imperial logo behind and then what you do is you place the mask onto the side like that gently push down and then you can do one of two things you can mask the rest off and airbrush it or like we're going to try and do is a bit of Dawnstone and dry brush paint which is just GW Dawnstone drawing and a dry brush but I'm going to actually stipple it rather than dry dry brush it on. So, there we go. And I think this might be too light actually. didn't want it too dark to stand out miles but I just wanted a subtle um, weather beaten imperial logo on it I just thought Dawnstorm might just be dark enough so you don't need to 
get an expensive uh, brush you can just use a that's it, GW dry brush or a stippling brush stipple through the lo logo like that if you're very careful peel it off and put it back onto the plate you can use it again and there we go that's that's actually the effect that I was looking for just a, a dark slightly darker than the the panel itself and then something round just use the same stencil and we sell these on eBay or on our shop so you can use either of them various sizes uh, if you have any ideas of different stuff that you want um, specific stuff we can make to order if needs be and we can design your own stuff uh, and we have done uh, we've done quite a few designs specifically for people so quick stipple Imperial bunkers ready for use. Uh, I will be weathering these up a bit more. Um, it was just a quick quick demo to show you the, the mask in use. We also use the masks on things like the ATSTs. So um, someone actually did a red one uh, on the grit on the uh, Star Wars Legion group, and we've done the yellow version they just make it pop a little bit better than just the plain grey it gives it a, a nice look so same mask same thing uh, I did use the airbrush on that one but stippling works just as well so I hope you enjoyed that uh, we'll get the next one uh, ready and we'll uh, we'll do the second part of the delivery that we got I think we'll do the uh, radar dishes next. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.